I was getting tired of all the fumes of the direct diesel heater that I've been using for about six years. And so I found one on Kijiji that's an indirect heater. Uh, but a lot of the fumes, well, I had a hard time with the hot air going outside. It kind of bothered me. So I figured I'll make an uh, air exchanger. And this is the final product. But uh, this video is about the process of building it. I hope you enjoy it. Here's the pieces after they were cut. First thing I had to do is clean them up because the uh, he has a little bit of water at the bottom of the plasma cutter and it sprayed up and uh, made it quite dirty. And there was one little corner that uh, the plasma cutter had missed because it's only 22 gauge steel. So it started warping a little bit and made it a bit difficult with the plasma cutter. Now I could have done it all by hand um, with a grinder. Uh, it's just I, you know, if I already had the connections, then I figured I might as well get him to do it. The square holes, cutting those out would have been a little tricky and the round one as well. Here I'm setting up my uh, makeshift uh, metal bender. I knew I wasn't going to use it often, so I just kind of built one that I attached to my welding table. And it actually works quite well. Uh, I think it's 36 inches wide. Um, and I can do 18 gauge steel with it. Again, it's nothing super high precision, but I was pretty happy with it. The rest of the video is pretty much measuring and bending the pieces. So I sped it up and I'm gonna put some music on for you. Hope you enjoy.